Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Finn and this is our snack for the journey, another week and another book in the New Testament. Now we are walking through the book, uh, through the Bible and uh, every week we have a book and we talk about the book and, uh, and the, we pick one or two verses of that book and we share with you. It's just a snack for your spiritual journey, okay? It's just a snack. Uh, our goal here is just to encourage you, to help you, uh, to give you a little bit, a taste of the scriptures. And, uh, and this week we are in the book of Romans, the book of Romans, a beautiful, beautiful book. Very important book because of his doctrine, is the, it probably is, is, the, is the most theological book in the New Testament. So it's, uh, it's Paul wrote to the Romans. He didn't start that church, but he was writing to them because he was hoping to get to Rome and he eventually got there. And, uh, and then from Rome, go to all the way to the end of the world, to Spain. So the, Spain at that time was the end of the Roman Empire on, on, that, on that side of the world, because then the, you had the ocean, they thought that the ocean, the world end in there so and he has beautiful things to say about our spiritual life our conversion the doctrine of salvation justification adoption all the whole thing if you read the book it's it's a beautiful book and you have in the roman church you have the 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 gentiles that they are not non-jewish and then the Jews and, 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 and they combined and they became a church, but there is a kind of a, a kind of friction between them. And, it's a, and Paul is talking here about a lot of things that he will compare those two groups and say, look, this is what, this is this, this is it, and we are coming together. But I want to pick some verses that are very important for me, for you, very well known in the book of Romans. The first one that we're going to see, it's all the way, the first chapter, of course, and chapter 1, verse 16, one very well known. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First, for, for the Jew, then for the Gentile. So you see here the theme of the Jew and the Gentile. The, the gospel came for the Jew first. We understand that. They started the whole thing. Jesus was a Jew. A Jewish guy and, and, and the church started in Jerusalem and all that kind of, so we understand that and then the Gentiles received the message and Paul is saying I'm not ashamed and this is a, a it's a very important verse for our generation it was for them because now they at that time they were kind of Jesus is the Messiah he came he, he lived a perfect life he was sacrificed, he died, he was sacrificed for our sins, he resurrected on the third day, and he is alive, he is alive with us through the Holy Spirit, and, and this is the gospel, and everybody are invited, everybody is invited to believe, to accept this. And, to, and at that time it was kind of, with the world, if you go to the Jewish community, it's going to be, no, we, it's, uh, Jesus cannot be the Messiah and all that kind of thing. And if you go to the Gentiles, you have just one God, one Savior, one, one way to God. We have all the other gods and all that kind of, so you have problems in both camps. But the gospel is the gospel. The message is the message, is the good news. Watch the good news that I announced, that Jesus is the Messiah, He is the Savior, He is the only one, the only way, the only life, the only truth, and there nobody goes to the Father. And I am not ashamed of that. Because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone. You want to be saved? It is through the gospel. It is the message of what Jesus did for you and for me that will save us. You cannot be saved by any other way. Jesus did something, but if you don't hear that, you're not going to know. You need to receive the message. You need to believe in the message. You need to follow the message. You need to accept the message. That is why Paul is saying here, I'm not ashamed of that message that Jesus is the Lord, the Savior, the King, the Messiah. 
I'm not ashamed that he is our Savior, our Lord. And, and, and we should learn that. Each one of us, we should learn that. We cannot be ashamed. And we live in a world that we are being blocked. Religion, church, Jesus, Bible, all those kind of things. And you need to stand up and say, hey, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I, I believe in the gospel. I believe in Jesus. He is my Savior, my Lord, my King, my Messiah. And this is our snack for the journey. God bless you.